posts here. And just then collect have, everything and then, on that and one then have post. A service that, on yeah, that one post. Have yeah. one service that runs one, once an hour and gathers the counts, and once it finds it's too high, then it triggers the workflow here. Sounds good. Sounds good. And is this, is this something that is available in Gateway? So to no. monitor this? No. No. So we write, we write this. You need to write this piece of code that yes. monitors Facebook to see how much likes you have, and then when it finds it's, it's enough high, then post it back with the new service that we create now. So Gateway is used twice to expose the data? For the product and to do this custom service, right? Yeah, uh, but, no, it's or a, but calling the um, the list of all your products should be relatively. I mean, it's a service that you just need to pr make it available on the left hand side, right? Yeah. So we use the the gateway to get the list of available services. Mm -hmm. If we see something new, then we post it to Facebook. Mm -hmm. Then we have this service, which is not related to Gateway, which collects the, the likes or, exactly. or comments. And that writes And back it writes back to, not to Gateway, but to the backend using yes. the service that you will create. Yeah. Sure. That's perfect. And that so, does aggregation of data into something that we can use for some, because in the end, we have to show what is this data. It could be just simple accumulation of everything in a Word document. Maybe we can show it. It could just be a simple report of how many yes. likes. And yes. Or maybe you can trigger an email alert or some or well, something yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. interesting yeah. too. So what you're going to capture is only likes and dislikes only. No, likes and dislikes and comments and okay. the two use me? the two values, okay, right? The two the, the two things that we get out of value is one we come we collect a list of comments about our product announcement. And two, we collect how many people liked it. And the list of these people is valuable to marketing in our depart in our company because they will then go and target these people to push ads or push email campaigns or whatever. Exactly, exactly. I just saw an API to read this, some, something called graph to Facebook page. You just give the page ID, it gives you everything, but in a specific format. Somebody could help me to uh, parse it Sure. Pass it in a sure. Action. I think that that's the piece of. I could draw a simpler so architecture so diagram. So let's do it. Who's doing with speed and you know? I'll draw, I'll draw an architecture diagram. Okay. We know exactly what to do.